Crypto is dead in the U.S. Firms are scared to build and they're also looking to move outside of the U.S. because we have no regulatory guidelines. But I've got some great news for you because somebody has stepped in and might get Gary Gensler fired and also institute a brand new system on how the SEC works. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and set alerts. Welcome back to the O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day. Let's get into what's happening. Yesterday was announced that A16Z is going to be expanding to the UK. If you don't know who A16Z is, they are one of the largest crypto VCs in the United States of America, and they manage approximately $35 billion in assets. Some people are like, Wendy, this isn't a big deal. We don't care about them. It's really not a lot to manage. It is in our industry. Crypto, Web3, NFTs, Bitcoin is still very niche. And the fact that a heavy hitter like A16Z is moving offshore should be worrisome. That basically means all of the revenue they bring into the US and all the taxpayer dollars they pay is going to be going elsewhere. In addition to this, they're going to be opening up a crypto startup school overseas. The reason being there's legal and regulatory clarity as to what crypto assets are and how to do business. Why would any business person want to stay in a place where they could just randomly get sued? But we have somebody that stepped up and is hopefully going to get Gary Gensler refired and the SEC restructured so we are not governed by one single type. Congressman Ward Davidson went ahead and is trying to integrate the SEC Stabilization Act. This has not been approved yet, but what it wants to do is it wants to restructure the way the SEC works and also fire Gary Gensler. Quote, U.S. capital markets must be protected from a tyrannical chairman, including the current one. That's why I'm introducing legislation to fix the ongoing abuse and power and ensure protection that is the best interest of the market for years to come. It's time for real reform and to fire Gary Gensler as chair of the SEC. So the SEC Stabilization Act basically allows for rulemaking, enforcement, and an investigation to be conducted by six commissioners. The way the SEC is currently structured is we have Gary Gensler in charge. And the reason why that's problematic is is because what he says goes it doesn't matter what it is and when you have other people a group of people commissioners that are talking about different things communicating have different ideas on how things work you're able to come up with compromise and in my personal opinion it's a lot better when you have a group of people making a decision as opposed to one single person that single person gary gensler has wreaked a lot of havoc on the industry and has done really the opposite of what his job is the sec's job is to protect consumers well, really keep the poor poor, okay? Because we don't get access to the same products they do. But don't worry, I will make sure I have my voice heard and we'll do our best to get um, non-accredited investors representation because I'm one. And it's important to do so because let's face it, if we have access to more products and services, or excuse me, more money, we're gonna have access to better products and services. And best believe I'm gonna have my voice heard. That's why I'm working with the DCTA. But in alongside Warwick Davidson is Tom Emmer and he is the House Majority and these guys do not want innovation to leave America because that's what's happening. The SEC went after Coinbase, Binance, Binance US, Bittrex, but they didn't go after FTX. They didn't at all. They didn't go after Voyager, Celsius, or any of the other bad actors in the industry. They don't even go after people that actually rug pull and steal. And I also want to give you some information about the people who put Gary into power. FTX, Sam Bankman fried was one of Biden's largest donors. Biden was the one that appointed Gary Gensler as the commissioner of the SEC. Gensler not only taught at MIT, but it's pretty sure that he knew Sam's parents and probably Sam. In addition to that, Gary Gensler met with Sam Bankman fried multiple times, multiple times, didn't ask any questions. But every single time the Coinbase wanted to meet with him or talk about any type of regulation or clarity, Coinbase tried 30 times in 2022 but nothing from the SEC. The fact that Coinbase was approved to go public back in 2019, but then is now being sued by the SEC today is an abomination. You should be mad about it. So just remember babes, even though the current landscape of crypto assets in the United States of America is very frustrating right now, it's very uncertain. We don't know what's gonna happen. Stay calm, take a step back, analyze your trading and investing journals and understand that there are people out there who are trying to make a difference. I highly recommend you take a look at the DCTA, consider joining, consider supporting us. 
Our goal is to get Gary Gensler fired. We want to integrate good regulation that helps crypto companies thrive in a legal manner and an ethical manner. And of course, we do want to represent the underdogs, the non-accredited investors, because we matter too. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts, and fire Gary Gensler.